How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So you had actually told me that my shield does look like a toaster from the top down. I guess it would have, it would be able to fit two pieces of bread inside of there. So I love that you noticed that. Thank you very much for pointing that out. So in today's episode, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be trying to upgrade our armor to netherite. So there are four pieces of armor. We have the helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. But I only found one smithing template from the bastion. But what you can do is you could actually duplicate these things. So what you need is you need some diamonds and you need a piece of netherrack. So I think you might need actually exactly seven. Yeah, look at this. So with seven diamonds and a netherrack, you could duplicate it. So now I'm going to get two. Okay, so I need four of them for all of my armor. But then I also want to keep one so I can duplicate it later for my tools. So I need five of them. So that means I need three more, which means I need 21 more diamonds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go mining uh, down in the mines where I began a very, very long time ago. And I'm just going to go try and find 21 diamonds. I got to make sure I have fortune on this pick. Yeah, fortune three. Okay, so that should make it pretty easy for it to find. So let me head down over here into the mines and I'll fast forward to when I find some diamonds. Okay, so down here I ended up finding some redstone, which I could use a bunch of. I'm actually running low and I need to always trade with the villagers, but they don't give you a lot at the same time. So I'm also going to mine this out while I get the chance. So now that we're still looking for diamonds, if you ever find yourself having to go through a lot of gravel and you don't have a shovel, what you could do is break the bottom one and then put a torch right away. So that way all the top ones fall and they end up breaking it. This is a really good way to clear out a lot of gravel quickly. Okay, so now I am ended up finding this really huge cave and I didn't bring a bucket of water, which wasn't really a good idea of me. I haven't been caving in a while, so I am a little bit out of practice. But let me just try exploring this to see if I can find some diamonds. There's some ores over there. Um, how am I going to get down there? Most importantly, how am I going to make sure I can find my way back up? I really should have got a bucket of water. I guess I could make some because I have iron, right? See, what can I build up from here? Yeah, I can go like this. Yeah, and then come out like this. Okay, this is good. Oh, this place is actually huge. There's a zombie villager. Okay, and it's super dark and there's a ton of mobs here. Look at this. Is this not really a good idea? I don't know, this one's already coming to me. Is he going to make it up here? There's no way he finds a way up here. He's a librarian too. Okay. I'm just going to try to see if I could find... If I could just see any diamonds. Let me just quickly look around. If not, I'm just going to keep strip mining. It's a lot more safer. That's blue down there, but I think it's going to be just lapis. Yeah. No, this is too difficult. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to continue with the strip mining because I feel like if I explore this cave, I'm just going to die somehow. So I'll see you when I find some diamonds. Okay, so at this point, I've been mining for a little while and I haven't found any diamonds and I'm kind of running out of torches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine all this coal over here so I can make a bunch more torches. And I think I have to change the way I'm strip mining. Uh, I was doing Y11 because my world was generated before the 1.20 update. So that was the best place to mine for diamonds, which I thought it would still be preserved uh, because it didn't have all the extra stuff. But now that I'm this far out, I think I'm, I'm in a newer type of generation. So I think I have to go down to Y minus 56 ish. Let me just double check that. OK, so it seems to be my Y minus 58. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start digging down to get to that level and then I'm going to keep strip mining and hopefully we find something interesting. 
Okay, so while I was mining, I just ran into some of these diamonds over here. I accidentally mined them, but let's see. I got three out of one block. And is there any more else around here? Yeah, here's another one. Perfect. That one just gave me one. So I have four right now. And if I dig up a little bit, are there any more hidden nearby? No, I think that was just a very small little two-veined one. Okay, so let's just keep going. It's a good start. So four down, that means we only need 17 left to go. All right, we're almost there. Hold on a sec. Okay, and I just ran into another vein. It's, it's what are the odds that they're all aligned up over here? So I just broke this one. And how many did that one have? Okay, so that one turned into four of them, which is really good. And is there another one nearby? Yes. Okay, perfect. Here's another one. And this is another one. Oh, one below. Oh, I should have made sure there was no lava b below that one. That was kind of risky. Oh, and perfect. Here's another one as well. Okay, great. So how much is that? 12? Okay, so that's more than halfway there. Let me just try to break away some of these over here to see if there's not another one hidden nearby. Uh, no, but I think that was a nice vein of four of them, which works out really well. And you can see I have so much garbage here. I can't even pick up all this stuff that's on the floor. But in any case, we keep it going. I'm confident we'll get this. I'm going to get this within the next couple of hours. That's for sure. But you guys are going to see this in the next second. Watch this. All right. So now that we got all the diamonds that we need, I decided to tunnel up. I thought it would be a lot faster if I could just run directly towards my house. And I ended up in this ocean biome. And I have these dolphins that are giving me a little speed boost, which is nice. So I'm going to be able to get back to my base super quick. Okay, so now that we finally have all of our diamonds and we are back at the base, we can start doing our upgrading. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need definitely a smithing table. So do I have one of those? No, I don't. Uh, and to make them, okay, well, first of all, I have all these blocks over here. So I'm going to put this stuff all here. I'm just going to empty out my inventory. I'm going to organize this another time. This is just all a bunch of random different blocks right now. Okay, all the blocks have got to go. All right, so this is the only actual good stuff I got from that trip. All right, so to make a smithing table, you need planks and you need iron. So I'm going to make one of those and I'm going to put it right in here. Perfect. So if I was to upgrade, um, let's make my upgrade things right now. So I have these and I need the nether rack as well. So I'm going to take a bunch of that. All right, and how many can I make? Four. Um, why four? I only need another three. Wait a second. If I put in two, wait, hold on a second. Is this going to give me four? No, there's no way. Yeah, this gives me four. And then why is it showing another two? Okay, that's weird. No, it only makes five. No, my math was perfect. I don't make any mathematical mistakes ever. Okay, so I have one and I should keep this in like a safe spot. I'm going to put this, uh, this chest, this is like my, just my regular chest is getting kind of full. So I'm going to put this in the, in the nether chest for now. Okay, so we got the four nether upgrade uh, smithing templates. So I would need to put this with my armor. So I'll put this with the armor and then I need the netherite ingot. And to make the ingot, I need those scraps which I smelted last episode. So they should be smelted by now. If I come all the way down here, something is still cooking in here. No, so I only got two. Okay, well, that's not very good because I think I need that and I think I need a bunch of gold. Let me just double check how to make that. If I do the netherite ingot, yeah, I need four scraps and four gold. Okay, and I have a lot of gold, so I need the scraps. Okay, well, for that, I'm going to have to go back to the nether and I am very well prepared for that because I have my automatic wool farm. 
So let me just get a little organized over here. I'm going to put away some of the stuff that I have. Um, to be honest, I have an unlimited amount of iron. I don't need to keep any of this raw iron. I'm good, thanks. Okay, so, and then I'm going to put away the coal and the flint. Yeah. And the redstone. And go away here. Sticks. Yeah, see, now my inventory is starting to get... This, this chest is starting to get full, so I would have to split this up into two different things. But that's a project for another time. Uh, so what I need to do now is I need to prepare to go to the nether to find a whole lot of netherite. So what I'm going to do in this case is you need a bunch of beds. So I'm just going to take... Yeah, I'm going to take a whole row of red wool. Just like that. And then what I need is I need to make the beds. So just to be sure, the bed, yeah, it's three wool and then three planks. Okay, so it's basically one to one. So if my spruce logs, let me get my wood chest over here. Yeah. If you can consider that the spruce logs turn into four, it's like this. One, two, three, four, like this, and then another 16, 12, 15, 16. Okay, so I'm going to put these uh, planks away. Yeah, so if I take all this wool, I'll need this many spruce logs to make that many beds. So I'm just going to stack this down. Oh, did I accidentally grab some from over there? I think I just needed 16 here. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to need a crafting bench to be able to make the beds while I'm there. So that's going to be good. And I don't need the sticks. And should I make the beds now? Um, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll need my bow with the way that I'm planning on going to the nether. So I'm going to put this bow away just for now. I want to have enough space for all that stuff. Okay, so, and I have my gold helmet, so I am ready to go back to the nether. So, uh, I think this is a great place to end this video. So, if you liked it, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and come back next episode where we're going to go mining for a whole bunch of netherite. So, I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you for watching, and Toaster out.